What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. So we put a lot of thought into this and we want to share it with you guys. I'm going to be giving you 12 things you need to know about Gray Zone Warfare before you play. So first things first, probably the most useful. A lot of people didn't know this and it surprised me. We talked to some streamers during the play test and had to tell them about it and they were pretty surprised. You can travel LZ to LZ. You do not have to return to your FOB every flight. You can go wherever you need to go. So feel free if you have the gear, the ammo, the health to just go to your next mission if you need to. Second thing that has to do with helis is going to be leaving your squad so you can call in another heli. If one of the green birds is in the air, you have to wait for it to get off the map before you can use it. So there's a max of four helicopters that can be used for your faction at any given time. So if you have those slots, feel free to leave your squad so you can call you a helicopter. So this is a big one and I really like this. Keys are relative to the POI that they unlock. For example, Blue Lagoon keys will only spawn at Blue Lagoon. We have not found any keys that unlock doors and other POIs. They might be in a dynamic spawn, we believe, that might be on a table, desk, chair, anything like that, or often how we find them is killing the AI, especially the bosses, at the POI. So again, guys, keys can only be looted at the POI that they unlock. The fourth one here is going to be you can hold H to heal. I've already formed a pretty bad habit of pressing tab and going to healing, but you can go ahead and press H, roll down to what you need, press F again, and you'll heal. Number five is filling your IFAC. There's a few different medical items. I don't really know them off the top of my head, and I don't have the game open right now, but it's the IFAX, uh, I believe the AFAX, the H kits, the different types of kits that are basically, if you've played Tarkov, they're, they take up less space while giving you more space. So you can create your own IFAX, so you can add it to your gear and save space. I often keep some with bandages, some with blood and surgical kits, and then I might have a third one for splints and painkillers. Number six is you can right click the helicopter on the map to see the information. It'll tell you who is in the helicopter, if anybody, and it'll tell you its destination. This is very useful to see where your faction is at and where they're going. Number seven is backpacks, stack on top of other backpacks, and they will hold the gun that's in them. So some backpacks have a gun slot. I would recommend utilizing this as we have found pretty much guns are one of our main money makers besides hitting cash registers and things like that. So utilize it. Nothing else can go in there. Go ahead and put the gun in there. And if you have another backpack, stack that backpack, put another gun in that slot and so on and so forth. Number eight is some light bleeds will heal on their own. You will stop losing blood and therefore have no risk of going into a coma. So just pay attention to that. Number nine has to do with reviving a teammate. This is the best order that we have found. This may not be 100% correct. And sometimes you might have to skip to refilling blood loss to keep your teammate alive. The general rule of thumb, the first thing you need to do is to fix organ injuries. Second, you need to stop the bleeds. And then third, you need to fix the blood loss. Obviously a blood set, right? And once they have over 50% of their blood, they'll stand back up or lay down, I guess. The 10th one, and it relates to this, is to do this, you need to be dragging your medical items into your pockets, rig, belt, something that's accessible so you can use it. If the medical items are in your backpack, you will not be able to use them. Make sure your medical items are accessible. Number 11 is missions and difficulty over time. There's been a lot of you know, even your favorite streamers that do not read, they jump the gun and they don't understand the mission objective. And then they got frustrated a lot during this play test. How the game will start is your first few missions will be at your local POI, your tier one. It's going to give you coordinates pretty much to the building of what you need to do. It's a tutorial, essentially. As you level up, these will get more difficult over time where they will eventually start telling you a direction the northern side of this POI, the southern side of this POI. They might start giving you some other hints like that. Eventually the missions will stop giving you pretty much any hint altogether. It will just tell you the POI and what to look for. It can get frustrating. We've spent hours looking for things. So make sure you talk to your faction, any friends you may have, if you get held back, and can't complete a task. With that being said, we do have the collective. I'll go ahead and plug it right now. It's a solid group of FPS guys, high quality players only, and we plan on doing a lot with Grey Zone Warfare, filling fobs with 16 man teams, different campaigns, organization, communication, and helping each other out with keys, missions, things like that for every single wipe. So I got that in the description below. Feel free to join that. We're looking for recon, medics, squad leads, any type of role that you think you would do great in. Make sure you select that when you join. But yeah, we'll be glad to have you. So the 12th one I have, and a lot of people didn't know this because it doesn't seem like it sometimes, there is a boss at every single POI. They're usually going to carry a more expensive gun, have keys, grenades, a little bit better gear, 
and they tend to spawn in certain locations at that POI. So make sure you try to learn that. Hey, if you learned anything new or if you enjoyed the video itself, you know what to do. Also check out my Twitch. I might be live right now. I might not, but either way, I'd appreciate it. We got big things coming, man. And all the gray zone warfare information and videos are right here. So that's it for this video, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.